Good morning. Um, I just want to say really quick before we get into today, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I hope you guys. Oh! How the f did I just do that? <gasps> Look what I just did. Oh! Can you give me that little brown, um, that brown little ladder? You be talking to the camera too. He's up now. What am I you? The little brown um ladder, so I can stick it back in. I always knew my curtain wasn't the most stable because every time I would slap that part out, it would always move. So it was just a matter of time. But I, no worries, we'll fix that. We're getting ready to head out to um. The seafood boy on my mom wants seafood for today so we're gonna make an order of that we're gonna go run and get some wine because we didn't end up doing that yesterday Are you dressed? yeah she ordered the food not yet you put the other one back on why well, i look different because i washed it and i took my time putting it on this does not look sturdy it's pushed all the way down um for uh you guys know that i got her the rug for mother's day so today was just more so you know doing activities and things that it is that she wants to do today um and then i'm going to treat for seafood boil jada made her breakfast this morning and then um when we get back home she said she wants to throw a blanket oh hold on there we go throw a blanket um into oh that's why it's not oh i need to fix that throw a blanket down in our movie room and then binge watch like a bunch of like some of our vlogs um the show insecure and then the um the documentary on netflix becoming michelle obama also i just want to throw out there that you guys know that i you know how i like to watch some of my older vlogs so i figured that i would make a playlist here on my channel displaying my top 25 favorite videos of all time thus far on my channel so if you guys want to see the videos that i really enjoy watching back from my past then definitely check out that playlist i also put a card here and then i'll leave it in the description box down below headed to go grab the seafood oil my tester pr uh, tire pressure light came on i think because the car's just been sitting here oh god can you get in a crack? Barely. We go on the buy right, buy, buy right first, right? The winery? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying, call. So, like, while we're in there, it could be getting brewed up. Your daddy said he just want a cat for sandwich. Oh, I thought there was somebody behind me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel like a vampire. You feel like a vampire? I feel like I'm actually going somewhere important, but I'm not. I'm going out for 0.5 seconds to come right back. Sorry, the number. Am I surprised? Nope. So they closed? No, it says it's busy. So how are you going to order? I'm going to call back. How long it took last time? Go in. I don't want to go in. I don't want to breathe. Like she yeah. I'm sure she don't want to go in either and breathe them same people air. <laughs> okay, so we are going to the winery. However, Sorry. we're trying Sorry. to order seafood in a bag. And the line is busy. Am I surprised? No, I'm not. But I'm gonna keep calling. Sorry, the number you called was this. I'm gonna call back. I think 
the verdict is a hail to the mother effing all. Y'all, there is a line out here for the seafood boil. It's her. If she wants, that's what she wants, and that's what she's going to get. You paying for it? It's her day. <laughs> that's right. It's mommy's day. And you just said no, too. I did not just say no. I'm just oh paying attention to all the people, child. They're staying six feet. That's why the line is longer than what it is. Yeah, hold up. So oh let me God. see if I could call back. Hold on. This is crazy. I'm very impatient. That's why I don't like when I see lines. I I just it ain't that deep for me. That's just my mindset. Hold up, let me see. Sorry, the number you called was busy. Please try again. All right, so mommy's not being difficult. Thank the Lord for that because the lines are busy. So I'm pretty sure these people in line are waiting to order, and then you probably got to get back or you not get back in line, but. I'm pretty sure the wait time is a little bit so we'll long too. On that side. So plan B, we're gonna go to Cool Hands. Um, it's one of her favorite restaurants. They sell this good, what is it, gumbo that you like? Jambalaya. This is ridiculous. I don't want seafood that bad. Right. And I don't want to be near people that bad either. I really don't. right now waiting for the who hands people to take our order we are back home now getting ready to head downstairs to go eat say hey bon say hey everybody loves you bon i know right you guys should go follow me on instagram at bon james is my mother effing name yeah what is wrong with you you want a belly rub say more show them your trick he keep bouncing because he know what he's supposed to be doing. He just don't want to do it. He being lazy. More. You want more belly rub? You like belly rubs, right? You love belly rubs. Yeah. You want more? Yeah, more. Good boy. Good boy. That's your good baby. More? Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. So what I ordered to eat was just chicken parmesan. Oh, this look dry. Where the sauce? Uh-uh. This is just some raw noodles and a piece of chicken in the middle. I'm gonna have to put my own sauce on it. So we got some of this. I'm gonna put some of this on it. I don't care. That's mine is this which I got sweet red blend and then I got this just one of the twisted teas so this still looks pretty disgusting but at least it got some sauce and we're gonna eat it and tear it up and enjoy it If you like what you've seen so far, why don't you just go ahead and hit subscribe, girl. Go ahead and take two seconds. Subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. I promise you, you won't regret it. Hey guys, what's up? Um, today is Tuesday, May 12th, it's 11.17. I'm getting ready to head out to the bank um, because my deposit for my unemployment went to my um, debit card that I have with unemployment. I'm just doing this transfer so I can move money over to my actual debit card account. That way I can pay for my bills. And I got my hand sanitizer right here. So right after I'm done touching the buttons, I can sanitize.
finished paying all my little bills and stuff. Watching hoarders, cuddling up with Bond. One thing I did during this quarantine, like in the beginning, was get my finances together because I have now four credit cards. I used to have five. I feel like in the past, like going apartment shopping or just thinking about like moving out one day, right? I've realized that it's actually a process. Like you can't just say, oh, I want to move out in May. Like, or I want to move out in like October, let's say that. Like it's just something that you really have to plan and prep for. And I think in the past, I really wasn't ready. And I've been trying to just really get a handle on my finances. I kind of had a handle on it. Like I would document my finances in my bill book here where I would write out like the bills that I was going to pay for whatever paycheck I had. But this system wasn't the most accurate because I would have like bills that would come out automatically or like subscriptions I should say that would come out automatically that I didn't plan for that would put me in the hole a lot of the time. So I figured, and I was watching a lot of videos here on YouTube, I'm like, how do you budget your money? How do you create a budget? How do you create a spreadsheet? And I got a lot of inspiration from this one woman's channel that I watched. I used to, at first, split them, but then I went from splitting them, like I used to, okay, let me backtrack. So in college, before I had like real bills, which I don't even feel like these are real, real bills, but I would pay it all in one lonesome and then just be broke and just make it work. Then once I graduated, I would still do that thing, but then that wasn't really working for me. So then I was like, okay, well, let me split it and like pay, like put put half away for, okay, so let's say like my, my health insurance, right? My health insurance is expensive. My health insurance is $300 a month. So I would put aside 150 and then the other half... I would pay when my other check came 150 that way it wouldn't feel like I was continuously broke if I just tried to pay it on the first one it's due but then somehow some way I strayed away from that and I went back to doing it the way I used to where I would pay one big lonesome be broke struggle and then the next check would be like my fun money but I really wasn't creating a budget for like, you know, my monthly expenses for things like my gas, food, clothes, haircut, entertainment, nails, drinks, whatever. Like I wasn't doing any of that. I was just like having fun with the money that I had and I was being really irresponsible. So during this quarantine, I've had time to like really think like, girl, I think all of us have really had time to sit here and really think about our money and how we manage our money and all of that. And I'm like, I got to get some type of system down. So I'm going to show you guys my expenses. So basically, I have my monthly responsibilities. I have my monthly expenses. Hey guys, I just want to pop in to let you know that I'm showing you guys this in hopes that this can inspire you to create some form of a spreadsheet for yourself to track for your monthly bills. And no way, I'm not trying to say that I have my stuff together over here because I definitely don't. I'm still learning. I'm aware that, you know, I'm 26 years old and I ain't got it together, but I just want to help inspire anyone out there who's also having some money struggles and just need some sort of organization in their life. Because girl, this quarantine has showed me that I need to better handle my money and I need to to really think future wise when it comes to my money instead of just trying to have fun in the now okay okay so basically i have my monthly responsibilities i have my monthly expenses i have my credit card um student loan debt and then i have my monthly subscriptions and then i totaled all of up my bills how much i pay for the month every month um and then I color coordinated everything. I would suggest you guys do the same. If you're not already, kind of create yourself some type of spreadsheet, some type of form. I will put in the description box the woman's video that I watched where she had a whole freaking binder put together um, for the month. She was saving money ahead of time for Christmas, which I've never done that in my life. But learning and seeing her tactic seems pretty freaking brilliant because i think we all kind of go broke around christmas time so why not just start putting aside for it but yeah so i'm just going to chill for the rest of the day no you did not have the energy come here and set this thing up <laughs> it scared you no you did not have the energy i took all this grocery up here you grabbed like three little bags and put that up 
back from the grocery store I'm just gonna do a quick skim over everything and now it's time to put it up Bon got his nails cut this morning check him out let, let's let us see your manicure look at that manicure that manicure is so pretty <laughs> That manicure is so pretty. You feel so fresh. Yeah. All right. Now I'm moving my car. Since Daddy wants to make the garage the gym. Which, like he said, is long overdue. We should have did this a long time ago. But now that it's looking like it might be an extension period. Three months. Might as well get your workout in the house. How long will this last? I don't know. Because you know how when you start out with a goal, you be all like headstrong for it. And then it's like something inside you just die down and you give up. Hopefully that's not the case, but being realistic, we shall see. We have Bond here too. Bond's in the car riding. You know he loves his car rides. We're literally just going two feet up the street to park the car. And then that is that. Mommy's at Target. Um, Whenever I get in my car, I'm telling y'all, it feels it's such a good feeling. Because it feels like you're going somewhere, honey boo. Even though we're really not, it just feels like it and it feels good. Straight. I don't feel straight. But I should have brought your uh your leash. I wasn't thinking. I just brought you. I forgot. Now I gotta hold you all the way back. I also got some things in my car that I need to take out anyways. Which is this bag that has some stuff that I was gonna donate to Plato's closet, which are these shoes, these boots. A Coca-Cola book bag. But they never got around to happening because of quarantine. So maybe that's a sign that I should just keep them. I mean, it's not a lot of items anyways. Maybe I can throw Bond in there. <laughs> it cuts me out. And then, what else? I think that's it. Oh, my mom's glasses are in here. That needs to come out. I need my camera thing for my tripod. I'm going to just, no, well, I'm going to leave that in here. glasses in here bro I need to clean my car out look at all these glasses oh yes I have to leave that in my car we got buddy in the house but buddy stays here buddy is my protector buddy is my bond when bond is not here and then I have this thing that I hang on my window but it always falls off All right, Bon. That was a fun car ride, right? I'm gonna come get you from the other side. I ain't got no bra on either. I'm about to just be out here flopping them. I also have on a Girls Rockin' Fades t-shirt. This says Waves on Swim. Girls Rockin' Fades established in 1994. And then in the back it says, Drip so hard to some bitch drowning. You know that song? It says that on the back. <sighs> okay, let's go, Bon. Wait, I'm about to really put you in this bag because I don't know what to do with you. I, don't, I can't hold you. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Come on. Right here. No, get in the bag. <laughs> get in the what? I love you. But no, no, no. Sit. I 
need you to really get in the bag. Vaughn, I really need you to be in the bag. Oh my God. I don't want to hurt your neck when I lift up, honey. No, stay. In the bag. <laughs> Stop. You are something else, Vaughn. Can I just say that first and foremost? Y'all, I'm looking crazy. I got on my Ugg boots, my shorts, my shirt, my dude. Girl, I'm just looking all kinds of crazy. And Vaughn is just chilling, honey. <laughs> Look at him. They like this. This isn't all that bad. Oh, it's, oh my phone's in my bag. You okay? You chilling? Okay. And a nice little ride, Vaughn. What you got? Good boy. Good boy. That was kind of fun. I'd like to do that to dads. That is hilarious.